Slithering below the ocean surface are two creatures that you don't want to encounter. And while they might appear to be alike, eels and sea snakes aren't at all the same. Here are 11 differences between eels and sea snakes. Number 11. They are completely different animals. Eels are a specific type of elongated fish and can be found in marine and freshwater environments. Sea snakes, on the other hand, are reptiles and are only found in marine environments. Eels are vertically much flatter than snakes. Their heads tend to be longer and sharper. Eels also have fins, which sea snakes do not. The fins are often located along the top or bottom of their bodies or protrude just behind their head. In the water, sea snakes often look more like swimming rope, while eels appear more like a ribbon in shape, texture, and movement. Eels that live deep in the sea are usually gray or black. Eels that live in tropical areas have bright colors and patterns. However, color and patterns on the body of a sea snake depend on the species. Alternating rings of various colors, such as black, red, gray, white, or even blue, are commonly seen in sea snakes. Number 10. Habitat. Sea snakes are found throughout the coastal waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, although they are not found in the Red Sea, Atlantic Ocean, or Caribbean Sea. Most sea snakes live in shallow waters less than 30 meters deep because they need to surface to breathe, yet must seek their prey near the ocean floor. However, some sea snakes, such as the yellow-bellied sea snake, may be found in the open ocean. The so-called California sea snake, like other sea snakes, cannot live in cool water. Below a certain temperature, the snake is unable to digest food. Snakes may be found washed up in shores in the temperate zone, typically driven by storms. However, they call the tropics and subtropics their home. On the other hand, eels live in places that have fresh water, such as ponds, rivers, and lakes. When they are ready to reproduce, they travel or migrate to the salt water of oceans and seas. But there are some eels that live in salt water at all times. Eels are found all over the world. They are bottom dwellers, which means that they usually can be found on the muddy or sandy floor of rivers and oceans where they live. Eels live in shallow waters or hide at the bottom of the oceans in holes which are called eel pits. Eels can swim backwards and forwards, and they can travel on land for short distances. Number 9. Behavior Eels are ambush predators, spending a considerable amount of time hidden in caves, rocks, coral, and crevices. When a prey passes by, it pounces on it. Depending on the type of prey, the eel might wrap itself around and crush the victim until it is small enough to be swallowed, or it might tear pieces from the body and eat the prey bite by bite. Eels often appear very menacing as they are almost constantly gaping their mouths, showing their teeth. However, this gaping is necessary to allow water to be pumped into their oral cavity and all over their gills. Some eels are territorial. For example, the giant moray can have a territory that extends for several miles. On the other hand, sea snakes are generally reluctant to bite and are usually considered to be mild-tempered, although behavior varies among species. Some species, such as the yellow-bellied sea snake, which feeds by simply gulping down its prey, are more likely to bite when provoked because they use their venom as a defense mechanism. Other species, such as the sea crate, use their venom to immobilize prey. These snakes are often handled without concern by local fishermen 
who unravel and toss them back into the water barehanded when the sea snakes become entangled in their fishing nets. On land, sea snake movement can be very erratic. They can crawl awkwardly and become quite aggressive, striking wildly at anything that moves. Although they are unable to coil and strike in the manner of land snakes. Sea snakes appear to be both active during the day and night. In the morning, and sometimes late in the afternoon, they can be seen at the surface basking in the sunlight as they dive when disturbed. Number 8. Conservation Status The European eel is a critically endangered species. Since the 1970s, the number of eels reaching Europe is thought to have declined by 98%. Contributing factors include overfishing, parasites, barriers to migration such as dams, and natural changes in the North Atlantic Ocean, Gulf Stream, and North Atlantic Drift. Recent work suggests that pollution may also be a factor in their decline. Sea snakes are not endangered on the other hand. However, there are some species on the IUCN Red List. Sea snakes are difficult to keep in captivity due to their specialized diets and habitat requirements. They need to be housed in rounded tanks to avoid damaging themselves on corners. Some need to be able to exit the water. The yellow-bellied sea snake, for example, will accept goldfish as food and can survive in captivity. Number 7. Their Nostrils Nostrils of sea snakes are equipped with movable valves that prevent water from entering their nose when they are underwater. The tubular nostrils spotted on eels are believed to have helped them detect prey. Having poor eyesight and hearing, they rely mostly on their sense of smell to alert them of prey and other creatures around. Number 6. Size and Diet Depending on the species, eels have a wide range of size and can grow anywhere between 4 inches to 12 feet long. Most sea snakes average between 4 and 5 feet long but the largest sea snake, the yellow sea snake, can reach up to 10 feet in length. Both sea snakes and eels are carnivorous, meaning they are meat eaters. Eels eat a variety of animals such as worms, snails, frogs, shrimp, mussels, lizards, and other small fish. They generally hunt for food at night. The sea snake's diet mainly consists of small fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and eggs of various sea creatures. Number 5. Gills and Lungs Eels have gills, as most other fish do, and filter air from the water in order to breathe. This means that they never have to go to the surface. Snakes, on the other hand, do not have gills, but lungs instead. Sea snakes can dive up to depths of 300 feet. Most species prefer to dive in shallow water. They are able to spend up to one hour underwater without returning to the surface for air. On average, they dive for 30 minutes. This means that although some sea snakes can hold their breath for an extremely long time, they will eventually have to return to the surface for air. Number 4. Mating Mating season of sea snakes depends on the species. Several species will lay eggs on solid ground, but most species give birth to live snakes. Females typically give birth once every two years. The gestation period varies wildly, anywhere between 4 and 11 months, and is dependent on a number of factors, including abundance of food, water temperature, and the age and health of the female. Once born, the young are on their own. The adults have no parental instinct at all. The number of babies range from just a few to over 25. 
Snakes born in the water may be nearly as large as the adults. When mating urges strike, sea snakes can become quite aggressive. This aggression may be between one male and another, male and female, or a snake of either sex toward another animal or even human. On the other hand, mating for eels is a complete mystery. They can produce up to 30 million eggs at once, but their sex lives are practically unknown. Eels can take up to 20 years to fully mature. Number 3. Senses Sea snakes flick their tongues to gain chemical and thermal information about their environment. Sea snake tongues are shorter than those of regular snakes because it's easier to taste molecules in the water than it is in the air. We don't know much about sea snake vision, but it does not play a significant role in catching prey or selecting mates. Sea snakes have special receptors that help them sense vibration and movement. Some snakes respond to pheromones to identify mates. Eels also have a remarkably poor eyesight, so they rely largely on their incredible sense of smell when hunting. Number 2. Scales Both have scales, each with a different pattern and colors. However, the scales of a snake are much easier to see, and the pattern of these scales is clearly visible to the human eye. The eel scales are much smaller and give the animal a smoother appearance. Sea snakes even have special scales that let them feel movement in the water. They develop a scaly organ on their heads which lets them see underwater as well. The sensors, known as scale sicilla, are sensitive organs that protrude from scales on a snake's head. These head organs facilitate awareness of water movements, but the extent of their awareness isn't fully understood. Number 1. Poison The most vital difference between eels and sea snakes is that sea snakes are almost always venomous. Whether it is a mild venom or in many cases, some of the most toxic in the world. The most poisonous sea snake is the beaked sea snake. Just three drops of venom can kill about eight people. Fortunately, these snakes have short fangs, and they are usually unable to bite through diving suits. Other than venom, sea snakes produce an enzyme that induces digestion of the prey from the moment it takes a bite. Thankfully, they are not likely to bite humans unless provoked. Symptoms of sea snake poisoning include headache, stiffiness, and muscle pain throughout the body. Thirst, sweating, vomiting, and a thick feeling tongue may be the result. Muscle degradation and paralysis ensue. Death occurs if muscles involving in the swallowing and respiration are affected. Because bites are so rare, antivenom is next to impossible to obtain. Eels, on the other hand, are not venomous, but can deliver a nasty bite if you offer your hand. Further reinforcing the don't touch creed divers should know also well. <laughs>